Hi everyone, I'm Vespers. I'm an Ableton Live certified trainer. And I don't know about you guys, but I've always been looking at how I can make more music and achieve better results in a shorter period of time. And I, there were tons of times when I would get this burst of creative energy and I'd open up Ableton and I'd want to get started on a track, but I'd feel held back because there's all these things that you need to do in any given track to get it set up properly. Things like adding EQs and compressors to your channels, setting up return tracks for your spatial effects like reverbs and delays, and setting up side chaining. And I found that I'd have an idea and I'd have a sound in my head I'd really want to get going, but then I had to spend this time setting things up in the program and I'd lose my creative spurt and then get bored and not complete the result that I wanted to. So I spent the last couple of years developing a template set in Ableton. And a template set is something that you can have the program load for you every time you launch it instead of the basic blank set. And so I developed this template set that has a lot of these tools tweaked and optimized exactly how I wanted them to be when I loaded a new track. And what this has allowed me to do is get way faster at writing music, I'm completing tracks, and I have creative bursts of energy now, and then when I have those, I can harness those immediately, and when I open Ableton, it's set up exactly how I want it to be. So I've had a lot of requests from my students about sharing this template set, so I've just decided to make it available on my website as a product, and I wanted to take a couple minutes today to introduce you to the Vespers Studio template set. So, here it is. This studio template set is already set up with 15 audio tracks, saving you the time of having to add each one of these individually as you build in your sounds. Each audio track has a custom channel strip that already has an EQ8, rolling off low frequencies, a compressor, and a spectrum plugin. The spectrum plugin is especially useful to have on any audio material because it allows you to see your frequency curves and allows you to EQ properly. Also, in this channel strip, you have the ability to macro in the low cut and the output gain of the compressor. This is really handy as well. These are some of the most frequently used controls, so rather than having to go dig for them, I macroed them here. Any of these devices that you see that are contained, you can click the Save button, and you can save it to your own library so you can use them in other tracks. You don't just have to use the Vespers template set. You'll see I also have a series of five MIDI tracks. These are for instruments. They also have the Vespers channel strip loaded onto them. So whenever you want to add a new instrument, say an operator or an impulse, you can just drag it right here. Next we have side chaining. Side chaining is a very important function to get that pumping effect that you hear in a lot of dance music, and I use it frequently in every single track. So rather than having to set this up, again, I've just loaded up a basic impulse that has a kick drum loaded in and it has a MIDI clip that's playing a 4-4 kick pattern. So I use this as the source for all of my side chaining in my track. Next, if we move over to the return tracks area, you'll see I have five return tracks set up. I find I use very similar effects in every single track. I use a short delay, a long delay, a short reverb, a long reverb, and an exciter bus to add buzz and distortion to the top end. Each one of these has a custom rack, that's already set up with macros and color coded and named for convenience so you can see exactly what these do. Again, you can save any one of these devices or expand them and tweak all of the different parameters of the devices contained in them. The way I've set this up though, you should just be able to open the set and use it. Now I'm gonna walk you through one more thing, which is saving this as your template set. In order to do that, you need to go up into Live's preferences area here. If you go down and click on the File Folder tab, you'll see at the very top, there's a button where you can click to save this current set as your default. When you click Save with this template set open, this means that Ableton will launch this as your starting point for every future set. I hope you've enjoyed this quick intro to the Vespers Studio template set. Also, come back to my site and check out my free ebook. It's got 13 other pro secrets that will dramatically enhance your ability to produce the music that you've always wanted to with Ableton Live. It's a free download, and if you just come back to vespers.ca, you can see it on the main page there and download it. Thanks for watching, and talk to you soon.